on your YouTube channel, and I, I just want to highlight that it once again, um, you putting a whole bunch of like, I would say hardcore, like more advanced content. And one of the interviews you had was with someone talking about um, crypto, is that right? And blockchain hacks. Right, I had Steve Walbro on from the company Halborn, who is like the top company out there doing blockchain, smart contract security, web three, kind of pen testing, code review and assessing. The reason I ask this is obviously there's a lot of um, interest in crypto and blockchain and stuff like that. But it sounds like a lot of the security done by some of these organizations um, isn't that great? Like Microsoft has got years and years of experience of creating operating systems. Um, is, is is that fair to say? And is there a lot of opportunity like attacking crypto, block, uh, blockchain, stuff like that? Yeah, I mean, anytime there's a new technology, there's a new attack surface associated with it. So mistakes are are going to be made. And there are new languages that are being used for crypto. You hear about things like Solidity is an example of one. Then there are other languages like Rust that people use to, to build crypto and to write, you know, build blockchains and things like that. So the same programmatic errors are are able, they, they can be made with any new technology as long as those languages are, are being used. Like what I've seen are things like unsafe functions being used that, that might allow you to execute assembly. And if it's not, properly coded or if it's if it's merely just there and a user can impact what's being sent to a function it could then potentially execute it as assembly and one of the things we went over are the op codes that could be executed that might allow you to do like a rock chain return oriented programming chain or or something else some type of code execution that could result in some something significant and one of the big problems with the crypto space is the vulnerabilities i'm not saying there's like tons and tons of them but when they are there they can be worth millions or billions of, of dollars and there are other like scams out there like the rug pull scams and someone says oh there's there's all these new coins coming out like luckily or, or i should say sadly the crypto boom that happened along with that people saw that hey i can get rich quick there's a lot of people getting rich yeah. quick out there so people started to exploit that and they said i'm going to go get an influencer on tiktok to announce to their people there's this new coin coming out and it's not public yet but if you go and go on the uh, DeFi space and I shouldn't say deep fast base, but if you go into the right locations and use pancake swap or whatever to go and buy this crypto, you're going to be one of the first and it's it's probably going to blow up. So you're going to get rich. So people go in and spend all of their money, five, ten thousand dollars $10,000. And then there's a rug pull where they execute some function and it just, you know, takes everything or there's different types of attacks like 51% attacks where if you can get majority uh, stake in a particular crypto, you can make decisions on behalf of everyone. And so some of it's like just some how they could exist and other is is specific to the technology itself like new types of attacks that no one ever knew about before it's very interesting i mean there's been a lot of interest i think especially younger people in been a lot of like uh, dodgy stuff happening um and in a way it's it's sad a lot of people have lost a lot of money a aware of the problems uh with crypto but from a technical point of view it sounds like there's still opportunities there